In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying rational expressions and simplifying them as well. So here's the first example. 7x plus 14 divided by 2x squared minus 8. And let's multiply it by x squared plus 3x minus 10. Feel free to try this example. Now the first thing I will do is put the second part into a fraction, write it over 1. Now what you want to do is you want to factor completely and cancel. 7x plus 14 has a GCF of 7, so we want to take that out. 7x divided by 7 is x, 14 divided by 7 is 2. Now 2x squared minus 8, we can also take out the greatest common factor, which is 2. And that's going to leave behind x squared and negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. On the right, we have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 10, but add to 3. So that's positive 5 and negative 2. So this is going to be x plus 5 and x minus 2. Now, let's factor x squared minus 4. Using the difference of perfect squares technique, we know it's going to be the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 4 is 2, and so it's going to be x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now let's see what we can cancel. So we can cancel an x plus 2, and we can cancel an x minus 2. So we have a 7 left over, an x plus 5, and a 2. So the final answer is, let's see if I can fit it in here, 7 times x plus 5 divided by 2. So that's the solution to this problem, fully simplified. Now let's try another example. 5x squared minus 15x divided by 2x squared plus 11x plus 12 multiplied by 3x squared minus 48 divided by 10x cubed minus 70x squared plus 120x. So go ahead and simplify. Factor everything and cancel. So 5x squared minus 15x, we could take out the GCF, which is 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x is x. Negative 15x divided by 5x is negative 3. Now, 3x squared minus 48. We can take out a 3, which will give us x squared minus 16. And we can factor that using the difference of squares technique. The square root of 16 is 4. So we're going to have x plus 4 and x minus 4. Now, what about 10x cubed minus 70x squared plus 120x? Well, we can begin by taking out the GCF, which is 10x. So we're going to have x squared. Negative 70x squared divided by 10x is negative 7x. 120x divided by 10x is 12. Two numbers that multiply to 12 but add to negative 7 are negative 3 and negative 4. So this is going to be x minus 3 and x minus 4. So let's go ahead and put that here. And so this is what we have. Let's just get rid of this. Now let's focus on the last part. 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. We have a trinomial with the leading coefficient being something other than 1. It's 2. So when it's not 1, multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term. So 2 times 12, which is 24. Now what two numbers multiply to 24, but add to the middle coefficient 11? This is going to be 8 and 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. 8 times 3 is 24. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace 11x 
with 8x plus 3x, and then factor by grouping. So in the first two terms, take out the GCF. The GCF is 2x, and so we'll be left with x plus 4. And in the last two terms, take out the greatest common factor, which is 3, and we're going to get x plus 4. So we're going to have two parentheses, one of which will contain x plus 4, and the other one is going to have the stuff on the outside, the 2x plus 3. And so that's how we can factor it. So it's x plus 4 times 2x plus 3. So now let's simplify. What can we cancel? We can cancel an x minus 3, and we can cancel an x minus 4. In addition to that, we can get rid of uh, x plus 4, and also we can take out an x. And also we can reduce 5 over 10. 5 over 10 reduces to 1 over 2. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So what we have left over is a 3, a 2, and a 2x plus 3. So the final answer is 3 divided by 2 times 2x plus 3. And so that is the solution. Sometimes you need to identify the excluded values. And here's the basic idea. You cannot have a 0 in the denominator. So 4 will produce a 0 in the denominator, even though it cancels. And so will 3, 0, if you just see x, negative 4. And also, if you set 2x plus 3 equal to 0, you should get negative 3 over 2. So that's how you can identify the excluded values. So we have negative 4 and 4, 0 and 3, and negative 3 over 2. Those are the points of discontinuity. x cannot equal any of those numbers. Now let's work on another problem. 3x cubed minus 24 divided by 2x squared minus 14x plus 20 times 4x cubed minus 20x squared plus 3x minus 15 divided by 3x squared plus 6x plus 12. So pause the video, try this problem. Now the first thing we need to do is look for any GCFs. And notice that both numbers on top are divisible by 3. So we can take out a 3. 3x three cubed divided by 3 is x cubed. Negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. Now in the denominator we all have even numbers, which means that we can divide each of those by 2. And so we'll be left with x squared minus 7x plus 10. Here, all the coefficients are divisible by 3. So if we take out a 3, it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 4. Now for this expression, notice that we can factor it by grouping. Negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Negative 15 divided by 3 is also negative 5. So if the first two coefficients have the same ratio as the last two coefficients, you can factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms, which is going to be 4x squared. 4x cubed divided by 4x squared is x. Negative 20x divided by 4x squared is negative 5. Now in the last two terms, we can take out a 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Now, let's start with this. How can we factor x cubed minus 8? Here's the formula that we need to use. a to the third minus b to the third is going to be a minus b times a squared plus ab plus a b squared. So if a to the third is x to the third, a has to be x. And if b to the third is 8, b has to be the cube root of 8, which is 2. So a is x, b is 2. So a squared is going to be x squared. And then ab, that's 
x times negative 2 will actually be is positive 2. This negative sign is already there, so a times b is going to be x times 2, which is positive 2x. There's a plus sign. And then b squared, that's 2 times 2, which is 4. So that's how you can factor a difference of perfect cubes. Now let's factor the trinomial. Two numbers that multiply to 10 but add to negative 7, that's going to be negative 2 and negative 5. So this becomes x minus 5 and x minus 2. Now we can't really factor x squared plus 2x plus 4, but we don't need to because it will be canceled soon. So I'm just going to rewrite it for now. Now going back to this expression, we need to take out the x minus 5 since it's common to both terms. And we're going to have 4x squared plus 3 left over. So now the rational expression is completely factored. Now let's cancel. So we can cancel x minus 2. We can cancel x squared plus 2x plus 4. We can cancel x minus 5. And we can cancel a 3. So the only things that we have left over are those two. So the final answer is 4x squared plus 3 divided by 2. And that's it.